Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, I realize a lot of you were in Wayne's Zoom room running a, a GTMI session today for your course takers. Um, so the chat room was more dead than usual, mostly probably because of that. But also, the market was pretty weak again, right? We, uh, we had kind of an ugly day for the SPY. Um, Dow was down a little over 300 points. Still had some nice trades in chat, so I'm, I'm happy to do that when I only trade on the long side and the market's been ugly. Um, you know, kind of proud of that. I think it was, uh, wait a minute, where is that? M-G-A-M. Um, called this long a couple times. One was back through four here with the high of day only 20 cents above. You kind of had a scenario where it gapped up, sold off, then ripped, and then bled to new lows. And usually that's a scenario where it never revisits the highs. Um, but then we had a possible whole number inflection point, second mouse with the high of day above, and um, all these people that shorted down here kind of in, in trouble and having to cover. So there's the four break, and that's not an errant tick, pretty quickly to 447, um, and then a little higher than that after that. Uh, and then I'm gonna call, I went ahead and called second mouse through 450, which was right about there, and it ended up going up to whatever it was, five, almost 550 maybe, um, 545. So there's a couple of different calls in MGAM. Um, it was on the morning gap playlist. Somebody asked how I found it. It was on the morning gap playlist. I think I even saw it in after hours yesterday and it was in the video last night. So, um, made for a nice day and let's go to what we're going to watch for tomorrow. Let's just start with MGAM, huge volume and a strong close. Um, definitely want to keep that on watch tomorrow. Um, P E T Z. I hate to say this cause you guys all know this already, but just in case we had a brand new person in chat or something. Um, you know, I don't hold overnight. None of this is investment advice. You may see some really ugly daily charts and wonder uh, why the heck I'm mentioning them because um, I focus on daily charts that could give us a nice intraday trade the next day because I'm an intraday trader. I always say I don't hold overnight. Uh, make the lame joke. It's getting really old, but I'm gonna do it one more time. I don't even hold my wife overnight. That's how uh, safe I try to stay, right? Um, so PETZ is another one that uh, really strong move. Um, and topped out, I think, right around the whole number five, too. So it could be interesting tomorrow. Um, BWV, I've got to zoom in so you can even see this. But it was on the gap playlist. That's, that's not a pretty chart. You got a lot of bag holders, right, from, that, from, from up here and all the way back down. Um, maybe some of them got a little bit of relief. But anyway, um, closing well below its open. We're going to look at the, uh, I'm sorry, well below. Yeah, closing well below its open. Uh, I'm sorry, I might say well below its highs. Anyway, um, it kind of closed in the middle of its range. And I'm certainly not that interested in it. But the fact that it gapped up, sold off, and then kind of ended up going sideways the rest of the day, it just made me think, you know what, I, I'm going to keep an eye on it tomorrow. Doubt I'll trade it, but you never know. We never know which ones are going to give a setup, right? I-N-A-B, big volume, closing well off the highs. Um, but we're going to watch that one tomorrow. N-E-R-V. Um, man, did I miss a Tokyo. Um, I actually had this, when it looked like this, I moved this chart over to my, um, kind of my get morning gap play monitor because that's where like, uh, where uh, it's the one monitor where I focus on everything that's got a good chance in the afternoon. And then, um, by the time that that's a five minute candle, but if I show you even once, it happened pretty darn quickly. Here it is right here. Um, yeah, it happened pretty darn quickly. So remember the earlier high, I'll switch back to fives now, uh, was 11.50. So if you didn't catch it before 11.50, which is a Tokyo entry, then I started looking for pullbacks. I caught a couple pullback trades in it, but nothing like I could have had. Um, and I think Sahil and Chad posted the idea. Um, maybe uh, maybe it was 11 at the point, right? It, it had only gotten to here. And he said, hey, this one's getting kind of interesting. I didn't see the post. Um, but for me, this was a Tokyo entry. If you saw the volume before it broke the 1150, I didn't. Um, so again, I ended up playing a couple pullback plays. But um, the point being, this thing is stupid extended, but shorts have to be completely confounded in this thing. I actually thought it might rip in after hours because today's high, 1374. Um, and then you have yesterday's high at 1442. You kind of have stat catalysts and a fairly strong close. Um, as I'm talking though, it's not, it never did break the earlier high. I was kind of watching for that. Anyway, it's strong enough that we're going to keep it on a chart. Keep in mind it is extremely extended though. Um, CFVI, big breakout yesterday. Quiet inside day to day, looking for a third day play on that one. 
Drug, just a recent high flyer. It's got a few red days now. Kind of got down to the moving averages, DRUG. Going to put that on balance watch. Again, OLB had a huge move, but then a nasty red day, another nasty red day. Still above where it started, so I am going to put it on balance watch because it is a recent high flyer or in play stock. Jay-Z, one of the weirdest charts you'll see, but we've seen a lot of these lately, right? Um, and it's now only been trading for three days. Certainly a much more narrow range today than the first two days. Um, 590 was a low, 809 was the high, closing at 650-ish, somewhere near the middle of the range. Um, I'm just going to put it back on balance watch, no trades in it today. MOB, another recent IPO, go goes back on balance watch. Um, GCT just went absolutely nuts its first uh, or second day of trading, has been bleeding lower ever since, kind of near all-time lows now. I'm just putting it back on balance watch. You guys know how to play these, I only play them with a proper A plus intraday setup. So uh, it doesn't bother me to have it on a chart, even if the daily chart's kind of ugly. NEPT, recent high flyer, a few days down the road, kind of touched the 20 day today. Um, just goes back on balance watch. It gave no setups today. Um, and then CPTN, nothing interesting here, except that in after hours, um, they had what was a nice sounding headline um, and it popped to $2.50. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Um, and as I'm talking, it's trading at 212. So certainly a potential gapper tomorrow. Um, again, on a pretty nice sounding headline. We'll add other gappers as we always do in the pre-market. And, uh, you know, let's keep a close eye on the bounce plays because the market uh, probably overdue for a short-term bounce. All right. Anyway, I'm done babbling. I'll see you guys in the chat room.